Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about file system implementation. So, in this file system implementation, we have actually two specific uh, structure, which is nothing but on disk structure, and another one is in memory structure. So, one is uh, on disk structure. So, it will uh, it consists of uh, uh, different kinds of information such as boot control block, volume control block. Uh, number and location of free blocks, directory structure, individual files. So on disk, which is nothing but it is a secondary storage, and in memory is nothing but it is RAM, so which is nothing but primary storage. So uh, when we are trying to discuss about the on disk structure, so we need to maintain about the boot information. So booting is nothing but how the operating system uh, will be booted. So that information will be maintained separately in one block on the disk and that block we use to call it as a boot control block. So usually this uh, boot control block which is nothing but the first block on the disk. Usually we will use the first block on the disk in order to store this booting information. So if suppose the uh, computer system does not contain the operating system then this uh, particular block will be empty. Otherwise uh, the first block of any disk will be considered as the boot control block. So the name of this block may vary depends upon the windows or the unix file system so whatever the thing we are actually using. If you are working with the unix file system environment then we used to call it as a boot sector uh, I mean boot block and if you are working with the windows environment then we used to call it as a, a partition a boot sector boot partition sector. And the next one is volume control block. So it stores the information about the uh, volume which is nothing but uh, uh, what could be the uh, number of uh, blocks that were available in the disk and what could be the size of each and every block that was available in the disk. So all those information which is stored in this volume control block. So which stores about the number and the location of the free blocks and the free block pointer and in the same way it will also use to hold the information about FCB, FCB block and uh, how many number of uh, free FCB that are available and uh, what could be the free FCB pointers all those information will be stored in this block that is what volume control block. So this volume control block we used to call in um, Unix file system as a um, master file I mean master file table so that we used to call in uh, windows file system and then directory structure so which is nothing but uh, for each and every files whatever we are creating so one specific directory structure will be created for the files whatever we are creating okay so that information will also be stored in case of uh, uh, directory structure so it will uh, gives you about the organization or the structuring of the file system and the next one is individual files so all the related information about the files will be stored in the fcb that is file control block so that is what uh, the last thing which is available on disk structure okay fcb that is file control block which includes all the information about protection accessibility and uh, the ownership so everything so it includes all the information in addition to the file attributes or their properties it will also add some other details like ownership protection accessibility everything and coming to the in memory structure so in case of uh, in memory structure so we have the information such as mount table so it will uh, hold the information uh, what the part of the files are that are uh, mounted in, in the directory that is available that was available or otherwise we can also mount some part of the file into another file system so that is what mounting we are actually going to attach some part of the file to another directories or files that is what mounting concept so we will discuss in detail about the mounting in another video so all those mount uh, operation and uh, I mean when it has been done all those details about the mounting will be stored in this mount table and the next one is directory structure so here also we will be having for each and every files the directory structure that were available so what could be the file organizations or related information will be stored in this directory structure in case of unix file system so the inode uh, it will include this directory structure actually include the inode and the associated file properties and the next one is system wide open file table so this uh, particular table which is used to hold the information about what are all the open files that were 
available in the system currently and per process open file table which is nothing but for each and every open file uh, so we used to uh, provide the entry to the system wide open file table so that is our per process open file table each and every will uh, each and every entry in the per process open file table will points to the uh, file that was opened already with the help of the system wide open file table and the next one is buffer so buffer is nothing but it is a temporary storage which is used to hold the information uh, about the file system or what are all the files that were stored in the memory buffer or otherwise in cache mem. So this is a representation of FCB which is nothing but file control block. So it consists of information such as file permission, file dates. Um, so when it has been created and uh, when it is accessed recently and what are all the contents that has been modified with the help of the write operation and who is the file owner, uh, does it contains any group or uh, what could be the access control uh, accessibility of uh, access control limit so that is given to this file and what could be the file size and what are all the file data blocks that it contains or what are all the pointers that we have that points to the file data blocks. So all this information will be maintained in FCB so each and every file will have their own uh, uh, FCB file control block. So the next one is uh, in this uh, in memory file structure how the open and read system call uh, has been done so that is what we are going to discuss. So if uh, to create any one of the files, the application programs must uh, send the uh, in, uh, send some uh, information to the logical file system so that the file has been created and using the file organization module um, so the FCB has been allocated to the file that is created newly and so these are all the uh, um, operation that has been done uh, step by step so whenever if you want to open the file so you should uh, ensure that the that particular file has been existed in the system so here uh, when you are transferring this open system call to the system so what happens here so this is the kernel memory so memory has been divided into two majorly we are dividing the memory into two portion so one of the portion which is used to, to hold the kernel and other portion which is used to, to hold the user programs so in the kernel memory we will be having the directory structure so initially whichever the file you want to open so that will be accessed with the help of this directory structure which means so this particular file may belongs to any of the directory so we need to provide what could be the directory structure that the file has and afterwards so we will be referring that file with the help of this FCB as I told for each and every file will have their own FCB so with the help of that FCB so we will be getting the information about the file size or the name of the file or any other attribute something like that and uh, based on that we will be retrieving that particular file from the directory structure in the, in the secondary from the secondary storage so we are actually going to retrieve that file from the disk so this is what how uh, happens in case of open system call and whenever you want to perform any read system call so what happens there uh, it will provide the index so index is nothing but so what could be the pointer value that we are going to refer so that is what the index or we can also say it is a starting address of any of the table. So here there are actually two tables that we need to maintain for open files which is nothing but per process open file table and system uh, wide open file table. So here the per process open file table will have the entry it will point to each and every entry that we have in the system wide open file table. So you need to check uh, whether the file is uh, already available in the system so if it is then we can provide this entry to the system from the per process to system wide open file table. After representing the entry so we should find out or we can we have to get the information about that file with the help of this FCB and the corresponding data blocks uh, whatever uh, the block we have that file in the disk so we need to retrieve it and uh, in order to perform the read operation so this is what how the read system call has been done in memory file structure. So uh, this is all about the file system implementation and in the next video we will discuss about the file mounting or how the files can be shared or how the files can be protected. Thank you.